two businessmen accused of land fraud together with businessman camp politician Jimmy Wanjigi have obtained orders from the High Court restraining the Inspector General of Police and the Director of Public Prosecutions from arresting and prosecuting them. Justice Anthony Mrima restrained the prosecution of Kaniz Nurani and Mohammed Hussan Ali pending the hearing of and determination of the application they have lodged in court. Through their lawyer, John Swanka, trial magistrate Bernard Ochoi heard that the two accused persons cannot attend the court as summoned since the High Court had stopped their prosecution. Both orders dated the 21st of January 2022 restrains the first respondent, who is basically the DPP, from further handling this matter or continuing with it in any shape or form until such a time as the High Court will direct. However, the court extended summons against three other accused persons, Himanshu Velji, Augustine Thuo and John Jenga, ordering them to appear in court. As regards the second and fourth accused, uh, 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 intended accused persons, the attendance in court is uh, dispensed with uh, following the order of the High Court. Uh, for the sixth accused person, uh, John Jenga, uh, summons are extended to 18th of March. The prosecution informed the court that Mohammed Hussein Ali is deceased prompting the court to direct verification to ascertain his demise. The matter will be mentioned on March 18th this year. Wanjigi, his wife and six other accused persons are facing six counts of land fraud involving a piece of land in Nairobi. Elsewhere, the director of public prosecution, Nudin Haji, is yet to disclose evidence against suspended Football Kenya Federation President Nick Mwendwa. The defense counsel told the court that they hadn't received documentary evidence to allow them prepare for trial. The court directed the matter be mentioned on April 4th to confirm compliance. Mwendwa, who is out on a cash bail of 10 million shillings, has denied four charges of fraudulent acquisition of public property while managing the federation. For Prime Edition, I'm Ben Troy Njue.